In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can create a custom AngularJS filter to actually filter a list of items. So we're going to come in here and we're going to add a very simple unordered list element. And we're going to add some list items. And we're going to do an ng repeat equal items and items. We'll add our item here. Then we'll close out our list item element. Now down here in our code, we're going to be doing this with the root scope inside of a run block. Uh, typically, you know, you would do this in, in a controller with a child scope, that type of thing in a real application. But to demonstrate this filter functionality, working in the root scope is perfectly fine. So I'm going to have root scope dot items, and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up in my web browser, and we're going to see a list of ten items. All right, so one to ten. Now, let's say I wanted to create a filter that would only show me um, uh, items with a, with a number value greater than a certain number. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a filter. And I'm going to say filter. And I'm just going to call this um, my greater than. So whatever number I pass into this thing, it's only going to show numbers greater than that number. Okay? So I'm going to return out of here my filter. So this is going to be the value being passed in, which is actually going to be our list of values. And then we have our greater than value. Now, to call our filter, I'm going to copy this up. And I'm going to place this right here. So I'm going to use the pipe syntax right after the items to, to filter our collection. And then I'm going to add a parameter in here. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to, this parameter is going to be the number four. And so what we're going to do is we're going to display all items that are greater than four. So we'll save that. And then we're going to come in here and we're actually going to loop over our list. So I have my list of values. So I need to create a new list. So we'll just call that one list. And then we're going to say for var x equal to 0, x less than list of values dot length, x plus plus. And then I'm simply going to do list dot push. Uh, list of values x, but I only want to do this if my value here is actually greater than my greater than value. So I'm going to say this greater than greater than value. Very good. Now at the end here, we actually want to return out our final list object. And now we have our list filter. So this should show only items that are greater than four. So if we come back here to our web browser, we'll reload our page. Ah, there we go. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So as you can see here, we have the ability to create custom filters that will actually filter a list uh, for us so that we can use it in an ng repeat. Now, to kind of summarize this, basically we're passing in the entire array, the entire list of values that ng-repeat is iterating over. And then we basically apply our filter or whatever our, our code is for, for doing the filter. We apply it to each of the values, basically creating a new list with the values that meet the filter condition. And then ultimately we return that new list out of our filter and then ng-repeat iterates over it. And that's how we're able to create a filter for a list.